Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we are back with Let's Play Dante's Inferno on the PS3. Okay, um, I originally started out on hellish difficulty because I wanted a challenge in the game, and then after playing a little bit, I realized that this is the type of game that is challenging because of cheap camera angles and just cheap enemies in general, and in that case, I'm just going to stick to the normal mode. Um, I'm not going to switch down to easy mode because I do not like playing games on easy. I actually like some kind of challenge. But from what I've seen, just playing on normal mode is going to be enough of a challenge because the enemies are cheap and the uh, camera angles are cheap. So I am going to switch over to normal mode, zealot mode. I didn't want to, but I'm not about to. I'm not about to break break a controller over freaking cheap enemies and crappy camera angles and crap like that. So. Yeah, I'm switching over to Zealot. Okay, and I figured out a couple things here. Um, what the heck? Is that... I hear you, but what the heck happened to my controller? Okay. The fudge! The fudge is this? Try this again. Okay. Don't know what the heck that was about. But, um, anyways, as I was gonna say, um, Notice uh, in the upper left-hand corner, right there, next to the health bar, those little um, those little bars that are red and on the left and blue on the right. Apparently, what it is um, when you go to upgrade your magic, your uh, abilities and stuff, you see how it says you're level zero for each side. Um, apparently, what that is is when you absolve or damn an enemy, you and you get those uh, points. That le that levels up your level, and that enables you to um, get to the next tier of abilities. So if I wanted to work on unlocking the holy tree, I would have to continuously damn the enemies until I got to um, level 3. So 500 souls and I can I can finally start putting points into those. You get what I'm saying? So apparently that's apparently that's what's going on there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to unlock uh, the holy level first so I can get that uh, extra health right there. But for the time being, I think I'm going to put some points into this one right here. The uh, break enemy defenses by releasing a concentrated short range burst of holy energy. Sounds good to me. Let's see, 1500 souls. Yeah, I don't need that yet. Holding a releasing circle while in the air. That's cool. Yeah. Anyways. What the heck? Okay, hang on, guys. This is starting to make me mad. Why the heck is my controller screwing up like this? This is a brand new controller, like, barely like four or five months old. I should not be having these problems. What the, what the heck? Okay, anyways, let's get going. Okay. Typical wall climb. Ooh, there's something up there. Experience. Get over there, you little shit. Put all fear and cowardice aside. We have come to the cliffs above Acheron. 
wretched souls walk this tortured path to board Karen's vessel. Karen's vessel, the uh, guy that takes people to the underworld. Gotcha, gotcha. Thirty pieces of silver. You have found a silver Judas coin. More information. Collect silver Judas coins to unlock souls. Huh. So apparently you collect five coins and you get souls? Okay. And then Beatrice stones. Collect all Beatrice stones to unlock the ability to auto-absolve the damned. That'll be useful. I'll definitely keep an eye out for those. Okay. Sucks for him. I know there's gonna be enemies over here. I know it. Sucks for them. Okay, I know you guys are about to attack me, so where are you at? Let's see. Come on. Yeah, you enemy. Let's try out our new little uh, circle thingy. Not that one. Ow, oh, bastards. Nice, I like that. I like that. Okay, there was a bridge, and okay, got rid of it. Okay, gotcha. Let's try it again, then, shall we? Ow, you freaking stupid bird bastards! You sons of bitches! Why do they think that just because you're using an attack, you're going to keep stepping forward so you can just step off the edge of a cliff? What the heck? And I have, like, no help at all. Okay, go down here, I guess. Satter? A satire? I don't know how you pronounce them, but it's a uh, Satter, Goatman, whatever it's called. They were real bitches in uh, God of War 2. I hated fighting them in God of War 2, actually. They were very nimble, very powerful, and just very annoying and general. Let's try this again. Let's see, are you gonna be like the magic? Nice. I like that. What the heck? You didn't even touch me.
Eh, started me off with a little more health. I think that should be enough to beat him then. Alright, let's try this again, and let's try not to die this time. Cycle of cycling and ads, keeping up forever. That was, that was a fun thought, but futile, I guess. We can absolve you. Down, up. Nice. 100 holy. I like it. can't be destroyed, so that means you. That's the way we're supposed to go, I think, but I think there's a, uh, something over here. So let's try going past it and see what we get. Another Judas coin. All right. See anything over here? Boxes. More experience. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. You see anything useful? All souls that die from every nation collect here. As one. Karen's rough crossing awaits those who did not fear the Lord. Okay. That was pretty useless. And I'm not liking the dash feature all that much because half the time I'll press like forward and it'll think I'm pressing left and I'll end up dashing completely off like a cliff or something. Kill the 
cover. There you go. Cow. Okay, punish you this time. Nice. That appears to give you a little bit of health. Very good, very good. Yeah, I'm not sure what that shiny thing over there is, but let me get this magic real quick. Okay, what do we got? Pontius Pilate, its cowardice contributed to the suffering of one for the sins of many, and now he bears the weight of all in limbo. Okay, so let's just absolve him then. Um, okay. What the heck? I'm confused. So you gotta get like a certain number here? Six hundred and ninety bonus souls. Not bad, not bad. No many patches. Yeah, see that's what I was talking about. Um you have earned holy level one, new abilities are now unlocked at this level. And my cross is now more powerful. Okay, very nice, very nice. Earning holy experience unlocks higher holy levels. And the same goes for the unholy. Okay, gotcha. And I'm halfway to the holy, okay, Un unholy, I mean. But we are now in unholy or holy level one, so I can buy some stuff when I get enough uh, souls. I'm primarily looking at you because I want some more health. Let's see. If I really wanted to, I could get a uh, that increase the damage of the divine force, but I'll wait for it. Okay. So if those guys are common, what I think I'll do is, uh, I think I'll alternate between the two. Do holy once, and then unholy, and then holy, and... Alright, let's go in here. Thor's trying to kill me. By all that is holy, I vow to forsake all pleasures of the flesh until I return from this noble crusade. I gave myself to you because I know you will be faithful to our love. <laughs> you should have been true to this sweet young thing. <laughs> Instead, it's me who gets the prize. Let her go. She's innocent. Not for long. I belong to him now. You've only yourself to blame, holy warrior. You don't deserve such a faithful, pious young lady. <laughs> okay, so why exactly is he kidnapping his wife? Confused. Ow, you horny bastard. Let's see, are you gonna do more damage? Back a little bit. This is actually where I... This is actually where I got to um, before I said screw it and just went back to the normal difficulty because this was a load of bullshit actually. And the K 
camera angle right here kind of sucks. Yeah, that's what just that's what made me finally decide to just say screw it. I mean, I enjoy a challenge in a game when the challenge is genuine and actually comes from not being crappy. I mean, this, this seems like a good enough game. It's just that they decided they wanted a harder difficulty level and just made it cheap. If you ever played like something like Ninja Gaiden, the first one. Not, not the, not number two, but uh, the Sigma or something like that. That is, a, that, that's a good game where it's, uh, where it's difficult, but it's fair difficult. Okay, punish you. Nice. Yeah, that's why I like that game. And I'm I am going to be uh, doing an LP of that one. I'm probably not going to be doing an LP of uh, number two. Just because that one turned into a great big bazooka fest. Literally. Like the challenge maps or whatever. It basically ended up with you just uh, getting shot at by freaking bazookas, machine guns, missiles, and a whole bunch of other crap that was just cheap, cheap, cheap. Which really sucked because the first one was really good. And not at all bastardly and cheap like the second one. Nice. I like that. Nice. Come on. Let's try that again, guys. Apparently I have enough to upgrade my health. Nice, I like it. Punish you. And that should be enough to upgrade my unholy level. Sweet. Son of a bitch. Try that again. Nice. Okay, let's try that again. Come on. Crush me. My scythe is now more powerful. Very nice. I like it. I like it. I don't have anything to spend though, so I'm happy. And I'm not going to use like a uh, strategy guys online or anything like that while I'm playing this just to... Because I want to explore while I'm going. I don't want to be... I don't want to know too far in advance about what's happening. Okay, let's uh... You know what? Right, let's cut it off here. Yeah, cut it off here would be good because there's probably going to be a lengthy section of crap to deal with over there. So we're just going to deal with that next time. So guys, thanks for watching. Ooh, another Judas coin. Very nice, very nice, very nice. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm sorry I yeah, lowered the difficulty, but I'm not about to sit here and uh, curse my TV for eight hours of cheapness. So, uh, it is what it is. Guys, I will see you next time, and you guys enjoy the rest of your day.